Uh, so the last song that we are going to talk about in this podcast, we started it with Sistar. We need to end it with Sistar. And this song is from last year. When we first heard it, we were kind of hot and cold about it. But listening to it and listening to it, it really makes me miss like Sistar's kind of old summer songs. And this was kind of like a throwback to that. Um, it's Sistar's Shake It. Money maker, rough shaker, hard breaker, chance taker, net player, run saver. say and wait, wait uh, what i think this is a very summer song i don't think it's that summery what in terms of like happiness and brightness and what this whole song is na 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 this song is very no, sappy uh, i'm saying i like that isn't this song shake that is a shake it is a throwback i like that their new song this year okay is not a summer song that's what i'm saying that was very weird because you never once said the words "I like that." Um, oh, maybe I said it under my breath, like oh, "I like that." You definitely did it because I said, "Well, we can check the Anyways. tapes." But you, Anyways. You, you were like, "Shake it," and then you transitioned clear, into that. Okay, cl- to clear the air, "Shake It" throwback to classic Sistar Summer song, and I think when I first heard the song, I was like, "Okay, it's got a lot of catchy parts, but like, it, it doesn't really do anything for me." But the funny thing is, it's like, there's nothing wrong about a song just being catchy. And this song is just super duper 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 catchy. And it's one of the, like, really nice Sistar Summer songs that I think we kind of overlook. Like, Shake It was is really good. And Touch My Body was also, I think, a pretty good summer song. And we we didn't really like either of them, like, super a lot. Because I think we were, comparing, we were comparing them more to, like, Loving You, I think. But going back, listening to the song, I'm like, yo... Yeah, I'm down with this. It is interesting um, to see, like, the difference between Loving You and Shake It. Mm. Specifically in the music video kind of stylings. Yo. Um, it's, it's so, so different. different. Um, but, yes, uh, I, we both said multiple times that at the, w- these both the Sistar songs has grown on, grown on us a lot since uh-huh. they were released. Um I still, I still want a more loving you style, like mm-hmm. more sing songy rather than uh, like the shake it kind of style. But I mean, I also did like I like that, so I don't know. Hmm. Maybe I, we, I because loving you is our favorite song of all fucking time. That nothing like can ever... nothing can ever replace it. But then we go back and we're like, actually, the other songs are pretty damn good. good. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's exactly how I feel about this song. Exactly how I feel about um, what was I saying? Uh, touch my body because mm. um, both of those songs are really good actually now that I, I look back at them I really wish my boy because my boy was released like a little yeah, bit before yeah. this but like I would have hands down yeah, although that no. really does remind me of summer but that song reminds is me of, so good reminds me of boner it's so, so. <laughs> it was so good yeah. that one dance practice video where yeah. they dance with those chairs yes that is like yes. the single that's like the video I remember showing to random people and they're like Yo, this is K-pop? Huh? I thought K-pop was like those boy groups with like weird hair and like 
shitty dance moves and stuff. And I'm like, no, no, no. No, 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 no. Hajima. No, 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 no. It's about boo boobies. Um, yes. Yes. Just start shaking. Just start shaking. So, uh, in a grand total of 11 songs. No songs of 2010. <laughs> no songs. A, uh, before Josh picked Shake It, I mean, there were no songs, at least for me, from uh, uh, the last two, two years. years. Yeah. Um, and even the ones from 2014, both of them, Up not and Down and Short Hair, were not super summary. Yeah. Even 2013 with No, 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 not even that summary as well. Maybe it's just we have just more time with the older songs, right? Mm -hmm. That like... They scream summer because every summer maybe we listen to it. Yeah, and there's but. and there's also like a nostalgia kind of you know binge on those songs. Like, you know, the more you listen to a song, it kind of reinforces it to memory and kind of remember times where you had you know happy memories associated with that song. Yeah. Like it's really hard to let another song take that kind of same mantle. Yeah, you know, I definitely want to make a playlist of these eleven songs and just listen to them I, th I think we got a playlist of like 20 songs maybe that we could listen to like that's, that's true oh, we didn't really talk about some of our um other kind of uh yeah. uh runners up we we did talk about uh a few of them we talked about four minutes is it popping uh wonder girls so hot um another song that we could talk about i think that is very kind of summary is uh uh it's not on this list but for me it's got sevens a Mm -hmm. I think that song is very summary. Um, like a, a lot of these songs were good songs; they just didn't feel super summary. Mm -hmm. But like, yeah, like I almost picked Sistar's "Push Push." Yeah, um, push push baby. Of course, you got you know, "Got Seven Is Just Right" also came yeah. out of summer. Yeah. Uh, Taeyong's "I Need a Girl." Uh, Gangnam Style we talked about came out of the summer. Hyuna's "Red" also. Ooh, Hyuna's "Red." Yeah. Um, Shiny's "Lucifer." SNS Deeds, "Tell Me Your Wish." Yeah, that came out during the summer. Janie. Uh, Acor Black, how we you know, do, how we do, how we do. It kind of reminds you a little bit of summer because it starts with that um, steel drum right, thing, right, and the steel right. drums are kind of summery in my mind. Twenty right. ones, um, I don't care, not very summery, but. Eh, 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 eh. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so I think that'll be it for this special after show, whatever the fuck. Special, um, special, yes. after show special. As this has come out, both of us are in on vacation right yeah, now. Start a vacation. Maybe listening to this very playlist while traveling Maybe. America and Maybe. or traveling Japan. Maybe. Uh, because one of my uh, co-workers told me that Japan, I don't know if it's true, Japan is hotter than Korea. It's true. I, it's true. And I fucking hate how hot it is in Korea. What the fuck am I going to do in Japan? I'm worried. You're going to have a hard time. I'm going to have a hard time. And we're going to be walking around like everywhere. Yeah, yeah, so we're going to need time. some summer summer jams to get us through. I think this playlist, I'll definitely be listening to it. Yeah. Um, so we will be back yeah. for our next main episode. It will be, hopefully will be released, at least the audio version, uh, on August 28th. Mm -hmm. um, so kind of expect that. This this episode, I don't know when exactly will come out, but it'll no. come out somewhere in between, in between, there. Uh, in between now, uh, now and August 28th. Yeah. But uh, that's going to be a big, big um, main episode. Yeah. Because not only is it a whole month that, that's in between, but I think there are a lot of comebacks. Yeah. And it's also like the tail happen. end of summer, too. Yeah. So we're expecting a lot of, like, you know, good songs to be coming out during that time. So hopefully we got a lot of good songs to talk about when we come back. I don't expect good songs anymore. I expect songs. <laughs> like, the, the IY, uh, the IY is song is supposed to drop between oh. then. The if YG ever does what he promised, the three Black Pink songs he, are supposed to come out by he then. He never promised. He never um, delivers with his promise. I think A Pink is supposed to. I, I don't know. There's like a lot of other people yeah. that are supposed to come out. So it's going to be very interesting. It's probably going to be a longest episode, but uh, we'll you see you guys then. Bye. SM Town, third time around. We get the beat that'll make you want to get down. With the whole SM crew back again. New face, don't mind, go tell a friend, yeah.